Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to go through um, and have a review of what I've just purchased um, from AliExpress. It's a Fenvi um, Wi-Fi card. Um, it is actually what I've ordered is the Wi-Fi 6E. Uh, so that's got an Intel AX210 uh, chipset inside it. Um, so that should include the 6 gigahertz frequency as well as the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz that you normally find. Um, so we can do a quick unboxing um, and then you can see what's inside um, and what's included. So I got this for around, I think it was around £29, um, including uh, shipping. Uh, so it's not actually uh, too expensive, but we'll have a look to see anyway. So as you can see on the box, um, it doesn't actually st it state 6E. So actually here, it does say AX3000. Um, and uh, so it's got Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. That's the AX and AC. And it says 2.4 gigabits uh, per second and 160 megahertz. And it's got multi, uh, multi EU um, and then or 2.4 and 5. So it doesn't actually state uh, on here about the Wi-Fi 6E. Um, so I, I'm not too sure if they're just using old packaging and the same as here where it's actually stating about uh, only the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz that it actually supports um, and nothing again on the back about the the new uh, 6E and the 6 gigahertz frequency so it might be like as usual as manufacturers just use old packaging and, and don't really... Um, update um so we'll soon find out anyway when we come to install it in the uh, in my pc so this is just a pci express card so as you can see um we can have a look see what's included so it's, it's quite well packaged still um so it's coming from china so as you can see here it's a uh, with an anti-static bag so the packaging is quite good as I said this one should have the AX Intel AX uh, 210 chipset and that's the Wi-Fi 6E it should include so as you can see it's got a nice quite nice uh, heat sink there and this is a one times PCI Express C uh, card and as you can see here as well you've got your here for your aerials and everything so it's quite good yeah, as I said it's quite good it's got the heat sink normally underneath these heat sinks you'll find actually underneath is just a normal like I could probably just about see here underneath um, is that it, it's got a uh, small PCI Express card and it's just soldered onto the board um, but as you can see here again it's uh, saying the model it does say AXE so it just quite hopefully and it's got Wi-Fi 6E now on the back. So as I said on the box, it probably they're probably still using old packaging and everything for this. Um, so that's still you can put that to one side. So that's, that's a bit more reassuring that they've got that uh, written actually on the card. Uh, you've got an old uh, CD for your driver. Hopefully, you should uh, be able to if it's a Intel chipset, it should automatically recognise it in Windows 10 at least. Uh, so I did get the um, the the stand and everything else for the aerials for the Wi-Fi six. Um, so let's have a quick look. So as you see, it comes with a nice uh, stand. And the cable so for there here so you can actually screw it onto the back of the card onto here for the aerial and the stand it's a uh, not super quality but uh, as long as it does the job the two aerials and these aerials here again you can move around so and then you just screw onto here and I do have uh, aerials that I um, installed myself into my case but of course it's 
not ideal so having external ones will probably give me stronger wi-fi uh, signal and you see then these two parts here they all end up screwing onto the car, end of the card there so as i said it's quite good and I, I think i paid the extra so that's why i paid the 29 pounds to get the aerials you can get one with just two of these aerials just on here uh, it also comes with a low profile uh, bracket so that's quite good so as you can see it comes with the screws as well so you can see here comes with a low profile bracket so if you've got a smaller case so that's really handy and then also it looks like you've got some kind of power there for it so that plugs plugs into the back here and then that goes into your onto your motherboard it looks like a usb uh, socket a usb 2 and then that goes into there to power it so i'm not 100 percent sure if you do need this because you should get, be getting the power through the pci express uh, uh, connection but we'll, we'll have a look anyway so yeah so it's quite good and of course you get the instructions so it does say here even though it's in chinese you can use the pictures and a bit of common sense to see where it goes and everything else but as you see it's quite clear um, where you put it and everything else and it's even got the diagram here for the power and everything else so overall for 29 pounds and if it is once i've uh, plugged it in and uh, actually tried it and verified that it is wi-fi 6e and the intel ax210 chipset um, as i said the box sometimes they because it's from uh, manufacturers they just use the old packaging so that's why it probably doesn't state it but it's a bit more reassuring that you've got the actual it actually written on the actual uh, on the card itself um, so this has just been a quick unboxing of the uh, femv uh, so this one was the uh, vf uh, fb sorry uh, axe 3000 and uh, if you have any questions uh, as usual leave them in the comments i'll try and answer them so again this has got the wi-fi 6c so this covers hopefully the six gigahertz frequency even though i haven't got a six uh wi-fi 6e router yet um so but i'll try against my wi-fi 6 i've got an asus uh, gt uh, ax11000 so we'll see on there so in summary as you can see this is the wi-fi 6e card pci express um the quality is good and for 29 pounds the heat sink is actually really good as well on top of there i don't think it should get too hot anyway and the the power you get here um, so yeah, so once I've plugged it into the computer, I'll uh, verify um, it, it is the Intel AX210 uh, chipset, so it includes the 6 gigahertz frequency, even though I don't have a Wi-Fi 6 uh, router uh, right now, I do have the uh, Asus uh, Wi-Fi 6 uh, GTAX11000, so I can't try the 6 gigahertz frequency, but I can see if this makes any difference. Um, in speed wise connecting to the normal Wi-Fi 6 uh, router and as soon as I do get a 6e router I will uh, let you know and I'll give it another test and connect using this card again if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments and I hope you found this a little bit useful and uh, thanks for watching and have a great day